Hello everyone, welcome back. Don't adjust your TV screens, I haven't started driving a bus, but I'm here at London Transport Museum to check out some of the history of basically London Transport. And I'm in a bus. I can physically sit in a real bus, flash the lights if I want, press the horn as well. I know I'm a big kid, aren't I? Wow, these wheels are massive. All aboard, you got your Oyster cards. So I've got my map and it says I should start at the top, which I have just done. I have just come in the lift. Let's have a little bit of an overview. Some buses down there. Now as a kid, you'll find out later, but I was a little bit obsessed with red buses. <laughs> so um, it'll be a little bit fun to go in there. I know, what a geek I am. So I think we start off the birth of London transport as you can see back then it was very different <laughs> look at that a chair to anywhere I wonder how much you used to pay for that I feel sorry for those guys he looks pretty happy but you can tell he's got a little bit of a sweat on ah uh, the old horse and carts amazing really only the very very posh people could drive around in one of these I love these old lanterns though they're amazing so want to go up them stairs you've probably often seen old photos of these little old buses I mean look how tiny they are I mean how many people could you really fit in there and those steps it was probably cheaper maybe to go upstairs I don't know God look at the drivers that is so cool. So that went on tram tracks, but was um, pulled by horses. This is slightly bigger. In fact, if we go around here, see the ticket man. Look at that. Well, that was level two. We're gonna go down to uh, level one now. That's level one down there. Wow, look at that clock. I love the fact, I don't know if this is an old bus station or something, let us know in the comments. I think it might be. Look at these trains, amazing. Can you go inside these? I don't know, let's have a look. Now obviously back in the day, um, underground trains were steam, which was um, probably not a pleasant experience. Especially going on the underground back in those days. Wow, look at that. I love the old lights in there. Look at that beauty. It's amazing how they got these trains up here, actually. So yeah, steam trains on the underground. It was um, probably not the nicest place to have been, just for the smoke and everything, but you can see what the uh, the carriages look like. <laughs> look at his face. That's <laughs> all very interesting, I'm sure. <laughs> I am still being snobious. Doesn't it remind you of, um, of Harry Potter where they go to Hogwarts? Because you see the carriages, look. It must have been very awkward just to sit opposite and very cosy with somebody else and strangers that you probably didn't even know. But kind of cosy at the same time. Just looking down there, if you've ever wanted to drive a bus, there's a little boy in there right now. I'll tell you what, that would have been my childhood dream. Obviously I don't want to drive a bus now, but um, back when I was younger, I loved red buses. This is an amazing building. We've got to be quick, because this place closes at six o'clock tonight. Hidden London, the exhibition. Should we go in? Wow, look at this. Which way do we go? This way? No idea what this is, but we're just going down here.
all about the underground basically. You can watch a video here. Oh, and that's it, is it? No, hang on, it goes downstairs. Let's continue down these stairs and see what we find. Oh, interesting. What was this? Secret headquarters, that's what it is. During the war. Yeah, the underground was used for that quite a lot, wasn't it? People to hide as well, to get refuge. Look at that. Where people used to sleep. Crazy. I was gonna say, is that real? No, just the sounds coming out. Look at that, a shelter from the war. Down on the underground they had toilets, showers, little water fountains. And we go out. That was quite good. Right, let's head down to the ground level. So you can actually walk around these old buses. Look, there's even traffic lights up there. So you've got buses like on the buses. There's a gold one here. I wonder if they got claustrophobic sitting there in the cabins of these buses. Now, what's also quite fun about this tour is that you can actually go and sit in a bus. If you've ever wanted to know what it's like to drive a bus, Sonic here you go. Let's step in. Ugh. Wow, big wheel. What do all these buttons do? Do they actually do anything? I just want to press them all. Obviously it does nothing, but um, yeah, what does that do? Does that change, oh does this change the, does it go to Great Yarmouth? <laughs> You've got cameras as well so you can see if anyone's kissing on the, uh, the back seat. Has it got a horn? No. Wow, look at this one. Painted so beautifully back then. Speed limit, <laughs> 12 miles an hour. That is what you call a classic bus. Look at that. I'm gonna press it again. <laughs> now what's really great is there is an actual simulator up here so you can see what it feels like to drive a train on the underground. There's a fully immersive one over there. We'll have a look at that in a second. It tells you buttons to press. Release to open the doors. Okay, I've opened the doors. The CCTV screen to see if everyone is on safety. When you so this is what they would actually do. Check the CCTV to see if people are in. All right, that's the view they get. And then obviously they close the doors. Doors are closed. Modern trains are operated by computers and drivers. Right. Turn on the automatic operations and see what happens. Okay, let's press it. What's happening? Oh, we're moving. This is the view they see. So if I push this forward, it goes faster. Hang on, let's speed it up a little bit. Oh, I'm going too fast. <laughs> I want to go too fast. No, I'm not stopping at the station. Maybe I should. Hang on, how do you stop? Stop, stop, stop. They're gonna get annoyed. Have I stopped? Yes, I am. I'm slowing down. Do you get to open the doors again? I think. Customers are waiting. 
Yeah, Release that's it. The doors by pressing the open open the door. Button. There they are. And in they go. When everyone is on safety, that's really good, isn't it? So there's basically a slightly bigger version just over there. So you can go in here and see London transport during the war. So just up here, they've got an actual old fashioned underground train that you can go in. Just like on the underground look, behind the gap, as we walk in. I think this is probably, uh, I don't know, 60s. It looks so much nicer than it does now. <laughs> I'm sure back then it wasn't this clean. And if you like model trains, look at that. Little model of the underground, some more model trains here. And this is out of order, but I don't know what this did or does. Was this like a simulation? Maybe. Of what it was like to drive one of the old tube trains. Maybe. I think it was. Some old signage here, look, of some of the old bus stops in the underground. Look at that, some old badges as well. The concept to the new seating of the modern day. <laughs> wow, that's an old train. This is a very strange train. Can we have a look in here? Let's have a look. Wow, look at that. They freaked me out then, I thought they were real. The railway is by no means Cool, very uh, dark and dingy place back then. There's a little model there. What happens when you uh, press a button? No, none of these work? I think so. Can you build a tunnel? Use the blocks to build a tunnel. Oh, I see. Oh. Up yet stable feature which made tunneling deep below much of the city feasible. It allowed the world's first deep tunnel underground network to be built here. Wow, that looks good. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but that's uh, that's like 3D. Scary how they used to tunnel back in the days by hand. They gave him the idea for a circular shield to stop a tunnel collapsing while constructing it through the layer of clay under the Thames. Barlow's former apprentice James... Look at that, how the underground stations used to look. Amazing, back in the Victorian era. And no tour is complete without the gift shop. Love this, you walk through the tunnel. So as I said, if you were a fan of the big red bus, or if your kids are, they will love the stuff they've got in here. Let's see if I can find one of these iconic red buses that I had as a kid. Uh, they're not big enough. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure I had one just like this when I was a kid. Big red London bus. You get some pretty cool stuff in here. London Underground Bouncy Putty. A notepad. A pen and highlighter. A bag. These would be cool for the kids. There's even lollies. It's binoculars. That's really random. You can get cushions. Footrests, scarves, a little light box. And I've just seen this. Perfect for Christmas. London Underground Christmas jumpers. Oh! And baubles as well. Oh, little buses on them. This looks good. A little light box. That's so cool. That'd be a good present for someone. 
not the same red bus but <laughs> a red bus cushion how cool is that so that was it from London Transport Museum. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below if you've ever been here before or it was your dream as it was mine when I was a kid to drive a big red bus. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.